don't know what the plan, they're playing some kind of ball game or catch <laughs> doing hello to all of our new subscribers there has been quite a few of you recently so yeah welcome to our little corner of the internet whoa just nearly fell off the chair we are having a very rare day in today maybe um no we are having a rare day in today uh, yeah, so we haven't gone out anywhere this morning. I've got a dog looking at me. Hello, dog. How you doing? I had to wait in for Dave's insulin. I've also got a food delivery coming at between three and five. Ooh, food. Which I will show you because it's from Asda and I haven't done an Asda food shop for... I can't even remember the last time I shopped at Asda. And I've also got an Amazon delivery coming at some point as well. But in our local massive shopping centre an into shopping centre a brand new next has opened and it's apparently it's an extremely large next it's taken over the old site of sainsbury's so if you imagine how big sainsbury's is and imagine a next being put in there it's like all my dreams come true so i would like to have a little trip over there but it's opening day so is that a good idea is that a bad idea I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully Adam's going to be home a little bit earlier today than normal. But that is not always guaranteed. So hello again to our new subscribers. If you aren't subscribed, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Please press the subscribe button. It means a lot to us that we share these with you. And yeah, it would make us really happy. Other than that today, I'm cleaning. Oh, and ironing. I've just changed bed sheets upstairs. And... Mm, that's about it really. I'm just going to go finish some ironing off now. I'm just going to put some lunch in actually. I'm just going to have a bit of lunch. I'm going to have pizza for lunch. I like pizza. pizza. I like pizza. 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 Do you like pizza? pizza? They don't eat pizza really. Do you like pizza night? She doesn't eat pizza either. So, when I iron... <laughs> Don't judge me. I get really distracted really easily, but I can't just iron not doing anything or not watching anything rather. So I always watch Vlogmases. <laughs> I always watch Christmas stuff when I iron. And yes, it is because I'm an absolute Christmas nut. But I just love it. I just It makes me feel so festive. It makes me want to be all like ironed and organised and stuff ready for Christmas. So I always put vlogmas things on when I iron. <laughs> Interesting fact, I also have snacks when I iron as well. Today's are randoms and a drifter. I've just had some pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> them and show you what I've got so what I got was I've been really worried about letting the kids um, reading and writing and stuff go down in the summer holidays it's very loud in here I do apologize basically I don't feel like they're doing enough reading and writing it's easy enough to do with Grace and Reuben because I can just literally make them read their books that they've got and then just do a diary or something like that and they've got online resources for maths but with Elijah he hasn't really got online he has got something online it's called Tens Town that he can do numbers on but it's a bit simple and it's just like watching videos so I wasn't best pleased with that so I wanted to get him some number problem books so I got him this 
which I thought was really good. And it is four to five, so actually Seth can get involved in this as well. So I'm going to let Seth get involved with that. I also wanted to keep his phonics up so he didn't forget what he'd learnt in reception going into year one. So I got the My Phonics Activity book. Which I'm hoping will be good. So it's phonics practice, puzzles, colouring games and more. So we can sit down and do some of that. And this is actually the phonics that he's he Whoa! reads these books. So, so this it. is like Mumbug and stuff like that. This what? is like the reading scheme that they've got at work. Yeah. And I think it's with Julia Donaldson songbirds, yep. Yeah. And then this is also the reading scheme they do, which is the Julia Donaldson books as well. <gasps> I know. And so I got him a pack of books which has got, shall I open them actually and show you what books there is. So we got Animal Quiz, we got Mr. Z, oh I've got a bit of glare, we got The Doll in the Bin, guys, Ron Rabbit's Egg, The Seven Kids and The Ox and the Yak. Daddy actually know it was one of these Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're the books that I got him. I also got some quite exciting lunch boxes. Oh, so I've been, I, oh my God, stop being so loud. I've been after these for so long. Ta da! So, I will also get them a lunch bag to put these boxes in, but it just saves the food going all over the bags. So you get a little drinks container with it, which is absolutely ideal for their, just for lunchtime. They have water bottles in class anyway. And then you've got a compartment here for like fruit or little crackers or biscuits. And then the front just lifts up like this. Uh, doing it one hand. That should open now. Um, so there's like obviously your top and then you've got that for your sandwiches. So this is the idea, this. I like it, I like it a lot. I think it's really going to work for us and I have, I got the boys all one as well. I got all the boys the same colour and she's got grey pink. Very, very stereotypical, isn't it? They were all from, everything was from Amazon. The lunch boxes are £5 each. I think the reading books were, these were £20. So not very cheap at all, but I think they'll be worth it. And then these were both £2.50 each, these two books. So that's my little Amazon haul for you. Just waiting for Asda to deliver us some food. Adam's home, by the way. It won't work, he'll kick us off the trolley. It Hi. Hi. Okay. What's that? Mommy. Asta has arrived. Ooh. And so what? I've already showed you Adam, haven't I? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's making a right mess in my house, aren't you, dear? Look at my floor. Disgraceful. Playing Fortnite, are we? Right then. Are you ready for the haul of Asda? The haul of Asda. Does that even make sense? Asda haul. So I'm going to start over this way and work my way around. I've had to squeeze it all onto one work surface because Adam's also taking up this work surface as well. That's, yes, that's you, dear. That's you spreading the love around the house, aren't you? Yeah. Right. This shop, it came to £90 exactly, and that was with a £2 delivery charge. So £88, and it's better last a week, because I only spent £90 on Friday. <sighs> can't cope with how much money I'm spending in the holidays. I really, 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 really can't. So, are we ready? Here we go. We've got some dishwash tablets. These are, in all fairness, £10. So if I didn't have to buy them, on a, obviously I don't have to buy these on a weekly basis because it's 84 washes. So if I didn't buy that, it would have been £78. I've also brought some coconut squares, chocolate squares, and some jungle bites for cereal. Some fruits, these were on offer. Got two of these. I got some fruit corners. So I got the chocolate balls and the chocolate flakes and the chocolate jar dishes, digestives and the strawberry shortcake ones. Ten all butter croissants. These are really nice actually. I've never had these. Um, some wholemeal bread. Some lure pack because we was all out. 
Bullies. Some mature cheddar. Some carved chicken breasts. A cucumber. A gammon joint. I'll go to these meats first. So the 24 meatballs, some chicken and some eight loin, eight pork steaks as well. These are on three for 10. So that's actually what I really, really like about Asda because they have three for 10 meats. We've got some chips for the freezer. I don't normally buy freeze food, but I went all out. I got quite a lot. So I've got some chips and I also got some honey glazed parsnips because I keep getting parsnips and I never use all the parsnips and then sometimes if we go out on like unannounced to anywhere on a Sunday or whatever then my parsnips don't get used until the following week and they just go off so I thought if I get frozen parsnips then they won't go off will they so it doesn't matter if we go out unannounced I've still got parsnips in the freezer so we'll have Yorkshire puddings with the gammon and we'll also have Yorkshire puddings with the pork steaks as well. I've got some broccoli because we was all out, some sweet corn and some green beans which is the boys favourite. I also got some fish fillets because I thought we could have like a bit of a fake away on Friday and have fish and chips and hence why I got the frozen chips as well. I got some yummy Bonio biscuits. Yum, yum, in my term. I got some more juice packs, apple and mango juices, and these were on offer, which is the little bottles of Tropicana. They were only, I'm sure they were only two pound for six little bottles of that, and this was one pound fifty for their own cartons. So, I thought that was really good actually. Apple and blackcurrant squash and the orange squash. I ordered orange pineapple but they didn't have any. Not that it matters. And these are both aspartame free as well from Asda which is really good. We've got some green milk. I've already got red milk that I got the other day. Some crippers. So we got these were three for a pound. We got some flame grilled um, McCoys which Reuben likes, some Pum Bears and some Watsits which are Elijah's favourite. I also got some Passata with garlic, this will be for my meatballs, some sage and onion stuffing which will go with my pork steaks, some black bags and some tin foil because I'd run out, it made picnics difficult. Bourbon biscuits because you have to have bourbon biscuits, it's the law. Some mini rolls, these were a pound, so they were on offer. These were also on offer. These are normally nearly these were about one pound eighty a pack normally, and it was three for a three pound, so it took them down to a pound, which I thought was really, really good. And that's just little treats for the doggies. And I've never seen these before. I thought these give these a go. Honey Cheerio cereal bars never seen them before ever and it did say new on the website so i'm guessing they're new <laughs> Duh. some pan of chocolates some thin bagels water dense ones and some wraps as well we also got some british baby plum tomatoes some apples some big oranges some little oranges and two red peppers egg noodles i'm going to do a sweet and sour chicken hence that's the chicken these are some snack watermelons i got five of these they're five for one pound fifty some fine cut salad some british baby potatoes and some british maris piper potatoes i think that is everything that's on there i know some stuff was hidden but no i think that's everything so all of that came to, like I said, £90 exactly. It's not cheap. I don't know if anybody else is struggling. Not struggling. Well, not struggling. But I've spent, I'd say, 90, 180, I reckon I've spent £250 on food in less than two weeks. And so that's working out like £125 a week. That is way, way more than what I would normally spend when they're at school. So it is simply because they're grazing for most of the day. So we're getting through the food a lot, lot faster. And I'm grazing as well because I haven't got a set routine. Getting, I'm not getting thinner. Put it that way. I'm not getting thinner. 
But I feel bad because although we've had loads of food in the house, I haven't been doing Adam's lunches. <laughs> so he's then been having to buy lunch as well on top of that. It's just all gone to part, hasn't it, Dad, in the holidays? Uh, Proper gone to part. You know, we haven't been having dinners very often. We've had dinners the last couple of days. But we've been eating out more or having more takeaways and stuff. Do you know what? With the takeaways, like with pizza and stuff as well, I would borderline say we're closer to 350 possibly even £400 over just over two weeks. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely... It's actually sickening that that much money has gone on food. It's just wasteful. I don't like it. We never used to be like this. It's just got too easy to eat out lately. And I'm ashamed to say that I've used McDonald's with Uber Eats more than once. I really didn't want that. So I'm pulling my big girl pants up and doing what good mums and well what well you don't have to cook to be a good mum let's say it as long as you look after your kids you're a good mum but i'm doing what you know i should be doing and i'm going to start trying to save money by cooking the dinners again and being a bit more frugal with our shopping so this is all i'm doing this week this is the shop for the week i'm not going back out again i might have to go back out because i forgot to get the dog's dentist sticks but that's it. That is it. I am just cooking dinner at the moment. The kids have lost their tiny minds. I don't even know what they're doing anymore. Who knows? Tonight we are having spaghetti on our meatballs. So I've just done it on my meatballs and made my sauce as well. I make it with passata and garlic and a bit of salt and pepper. I also put a tiny little bit of sugar in just to take out the, come away from the hot oven, to take away the bitterness of the tomato as well. I would normally put a bit of Worcester sauce in, but I don't have any. So I'm not going to. But yeah, Adam is still doing stuff in my living room preparing for a job it's all very exciting are you all prepared for the weekend i not program it but i think so do you know what you're doing no. i can't remember it's all very clever stuff then i take it what is that on the set eh? well, yeah. it's you that is oh my god that's not me so yeah oh, the kids are being very loud <laughs> the joys of having four little kiddies. Oh, man down. We've just had dinner. It was yummy. Was it nice, Ad? Nice, yeah. yeah, why did you get changed? Uh, because I got Can you not eat spaghetti? <laughs> Are you two okay? Really you got a bit of spaghetti. Oh, your muscles. Wow, so muscular. You like Red Hulk, aren't you? Yeah. And I like a ninja. And like a ninja. So I can meet up 100 people. Oh, okay. And the kids are just yeah. playing at the moment. I don't know what they're playing. They're playing some kind of ball game or catch Yeah. Yeah. They're playing with the ball. Yeah. So I just said to Adam, fairly quietly, I didn't exactly say it loud, did I? I'm going to take the D.O.G. out for a walk. Well, both of them. And I don't know how she knows, but she knows. Look. You know, don't you? How do you know? I don't get it. How do they know? It doesn't matter a lot because we don't do it at the same time every day. We do it at really random times. Really random whenevers. But I just don't get how she knows. Oh. Right, we're putting the kids to bed now, but um, we're going to scare them first, because it's fun. They're like me to show see if I say something as I'm coming up the stairs. But Adam's going to um, sneak up, so I show they got ready. Fee! 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 I actually screamed. <laughs> um, 
simple things. <laughs>